So the last couple videos on the channel have been kind of pistol oriented and I figure why not just keep the trend going. So got one more benchtop pistol vid for you guys before we take this out and shoot it like we did the last one. This is my Glock 19 Gen 4. Just got this back, had a couple updates and uh, kind of nice little additions done to this thing. So wanted to make note of those and show you a quick little vid on those. So this guy's cleared out. Uh, this work was done by Tier Defense Industries down in Georgia. Send it off to them, the whole thing. They did everything you see here, essentially. So it was a completely stock Glock Gen 4. Wanted to just talk about the modifications, what I went with, what they did, uh, and why I decided to go this modification route as opposed to potentially buying something else because I was actually eyeing some of the newer clocks. So let's talk about this here first. So again, Tier Defense Industries, got to give a big shout out to those guys. Um, they did the stippling on the frame. They Cerakoted my slide. They installed my sights and they that's basically it so they did a couple other things here like the the trigger guard uh undercut there which i really like lets you get up on the gun a little bit more they also shaved off the stupid finger grooves that i hate um, they actually kind of fit my hands pretty well but i still just don't like that they're there so for me I'm able to get a little higher on the gun. I'm not sandwiching my fingers between finger grooves. Um, and I actually have all three of my lower fingers here on the uh, the grip itself. So the 19 fits my hand pretty darn well. So shaved off those. Um, they also sanded it down and did their grid stippling pattern, I believe is it called. They have three patterns. If I remember correctly, they're bark, sprinkles, and grid. And this is the grid. So kind of your typical, um, round type stippling uh, on the frame um, it is one of the more aggressive ones i believe the sprinkles as they call it is the most aggressive but uh the, and the bark is the least aggressive so this one's kind of in the middle um, and i will say i like it a lot um, i was a fan of the the glock rtf rough texture frame back in the day and uh, so i do like having some type of grip texture as similar to the my um glock 20 that you guys have seen here a little bit difference, uh, as you can tell, this one was done by uh, ATEI or whoever does the stippling work for ATEI, just to show you a quick comparison there. Um, of the two, uh, I might do a little comparison on these later in another video. The uh, Glock 19 is a bit rougher, um, and I like that it is a bit rougher than the, uh, the one on the Glock 20. So that is a pro for me personally. Um, they do they do some nice lines, but there isn't really, just like the other one I just showed you, they don't do like a... Um, in a full outline or anything like that. Not that it really matters. I did just want to note that. Um, but it looks good. Looks really good. I like it. I don't use the back straps, so not too worried about adding anything else. As you can tell, I added a Magpul uh, Enhanced Magwell for the Glock 19 Gen 4. Fits perfect. Love it. They also did the slide, as you can tell. So this was used. I've had, I don't even know how many thousands of rounds through this thing. Obviously, the barrel is still, you know, untouched. But uh, they did start cut the slide in a tungsten type color, so kind of a silver. If we were to uh, nerd out a little bit, I feel like the gun now kind of looks like the uh, uh, one of those pistols back in the day from like Golden Eye on Nintendo 64. So um, gives a little bit of a nice look. Uh, it's not shiny or anything like that, uh, but it will protect the frame, and that's the most important part. So um, I like that too. So also they installed my Proctor Way of the Gun sights. Got the Y notch in the rear there. Uh, and then we have the fiber front. So those are awesome. I like that they're, let me get you a little bit of a few of the sights here. I like that they're an improvement over the factory sights. Not only do I feel like I can pick them up better uh, just because of the design and the fiber optics, but I like that they have the Y notch, which is, I guess, in my understanding, and I haven't shot this yet, just kind of getting it out of the bench. They're designed to be able to pick up quick at the top there. You kind of put the front sight uh, at the top of the, the rear there, and that's kind of for quick shooting, but really for the accurate stuff, you want to be down there before the Y notch starts. So um, it is a little bit of a thinner front, uh, which allows for quicker acquisition there, but uh, I do like a thinner front as opposed to a, a thicker front sight. That's just my personal preference. So um, that's about it, essentially. I didn't do any trigger work. It's still the stock Glock trigger, which I like. Uh, don't love, but I like. This one's again, has a few thousand rounds to it, so it's broken in a little bit. And um, that's, yeah, that's basically it. So I didn't want to go too crazy on this because this is something that I do have and still will carry on a daily basis. 
you know, um, didn't want to go full out bananas with this where we're doing like um, an RMR and crazy slide serration cuts. I may do that on another Glock 19 in the future. I am a fan of the 19s a lot. And ever since getting a couple more RDS um, guns like my 20 here, I really, really like the modifications that I chose to go with something like this. The, the RMR on top is just awesome. Um, and I think it'd be great for like a bigger carry gun, assuming that you have the ability to uh, actually fit that and carry it. But for everyday use and something like this, where I need something a little smaller, I think this is perfect. So uh, anyway, as I was saying, I was rolling around the idea of selling off my Gen 4 and buying a Gen 5 19 or even potentially buying the 19X or the Glock 45, which is the newer 9mm, ironically. So I decided to go this route for a couple of reasons. One, I wasn't a huge fan of what I was hearing from the Gen 5 19s, mainly with that that little stupid um, like cutout they had in the front that made it difficult to insert magazines. Uh, it sounds like there are some other good improvements, um, like the, uh, the trigger's a little better, I'm not too worried about that. Um, some other little, little things, but that cutout on the bottom really, really annoyed me. Um, and I wasn't interested in like going around that via like some attachment to the magazine or something like that. So for that reason, I kind of ruled out the Gen 5 19. Uh, and then as far as the um, 19X and the 45 go, uh, those are obviously bigger guns, same slide length and everything as the 19, but they have the longer 17 type frame. Uh, and I just decided for my use with this one, I didn't want to go to the the bigger, bigger frame, the longer frame, I should say. So for carrier reasons, but anyway, down the road, if I choose to do a uh, RMR type Glock 19, um, maybe, maybe I'll go with a 19X or a 45, but we shall see. We'll see when that happens. So anyway, stay tuned. As with everything, uh, we'll have another range video on this, uh, whether it's at the indoor range or the outdoor range, whatever I get to first and give you guys some more impressions on it. I will say this thing feels awesome. It really does. Um, I like it a lot. I love that grip texture. It's really good. Um, and adding this uh, bevel kind of creates like a shelf almost to like my, you know, my finger won't kind of roll down below that. Um, not that it's a huge, huge fit anyway, or, you know, like a tight fit anyway, but I like that on there as well. So pretty darn happy about it. So if you guys got any questions on it, let me know, answer those the best I can. Uh, got a couple holsters and I've got my um, Surefire X300 that I need to um, get fine tuned. I got to do something here. I gotta look at my instructions and make sure that I got the right mount on for this thing. There's a little bit of movement on the 19. If you can't see, you can hear it. Uh, whereas on my 20, it just fits on just fine. It's like perfect, just like that. So anyway, I'm going to use this or swap it back and forth. We'll see, pick one or the other. Uh, so we'll get her up mounted right. I like that we, uh, I like having a light. So I got another holster for this too, which is, roll it in here. Haven't even used this yet or even tested it just because I haven't um, got that light to fit perfect yet. Haven't had time to mess with it. Um, but this is a Safari Land. Uh, 6319, if I recall correctly. Hold it. There we go. 6319, I want to say. So I'll, I'll, I'll roll the right one in here. I always forget. But anyway, it's the USN ALS. Uh, opted for the the camo wrap, and I went with the QLS system for quick re quick release. Uh, got a little thigh strap here. So and this is a mid ride. So it basically goes around the, your belt. You got a little bit of a drop there, um, and then boom guns there not going anywhere so it is a level two holster Do your thumb release right there and yeah so that's about it check you guys later oh yeah need to adjust my belt got a different belt it's kind of through these on through it on these pants but uh if this is not the most tactical thing you've ever seen in your life with corduroy pants and crocs give the video a thumbs up move my hand here Thing's awesome. Love it. Side strap for the win. Mid ride's awesome. Love it.